today we want to talk about the section, uh, second section in the reasoning and proof. And the second section is called logic. Chapter 2, point 2 is called logic. Dealing with logic, we have statements, a logic statement. The statement in logic is a sentence that is either true or false, but not both. Okay? Real simple. It can be true or it can be false, but it cannot be both. Such as, today is Thursday. That would be false because on this particular day, it's Wednesday. Alright? Can't be true and can't be false at the same time. It is also not an opinion, such as, the weather is great. Well, in your opinion, the weather is great, but in somebody else's opinion, it may be very bad. For instance, I like warm weather. Someone else hates warm weather. So in their opinion, warm weather would not be great. So statement logic is not an opinion. It's more like the temperature this afternoon at 4 p.m., was 85 degrees. We either go check with the temperature at that time, find out if it was 85 degrees, it will either be true or it will be false. Can't be both. It's not an opinion. Okay? Now, one other thing about statements. Truth value of a statement is the truth or falsity of a statement. <clears throat> For instance, when I said Today is Thursday, when in fact it's Wednesday. Then the truth value of that statement would be false. Why? Because it's Wednesday. We'll explore this in just a little bit and we'll get into it a little bit more. These are the two basic ones and we're going to develop other vocabulary based on this. But a statement, it's a sentence. In logic, that is either true or false, but not both. It is not an opinion. The truth value of a statement is it's truth or falsity. Okay? Yeah. Next thing we want to look at is the negation of a statement. We can negate a statement. To negate something simply means to do what? I'm going to negate you. What does that mean? You got it? I'm going to take you out. I'm going to change your meaning. I'm going to make it opposite of what it was. You're alive. You're not going to be alive. You're not alive. You're going to be alive. The negation of a statement simply is going to be, if it's true, now make it false. For instance, let's take the statement, it is Thursday. In fact, it's Wednesday. To negate that statement, we would say, it is not Thursday. Whereas before it was false, now it is true. Okay, when we negate a statement, we automatically take care of its and reverse its truth value. Oh, let's not use the word. It didn't show up very good on the camera. Negation. Negation causes a statement To have the opposite meaning and the opposite something a little more concrete. <clears throat> Let's take a statement. Oh, by the way, we represent statements in logic with letters. For some reason, we start with P. So we're going to represent our statement with a small P. We put a colon right there. And the statement is, Austin is a city in Texas. Okay? And it's 
truth value is what? That's true. Well, I just put false, didn't I? would be wrong. Get this straight. It is true. Okay, why? Because Austin is a city in Texas. All right? You can also say not P to negate the statement P. And in order to negate a statement, it's real simple. We just put a not in it. Austin is not a city in Texas. What's the truth value of that statement? Well, it's false. When we negate it, it has an opposite meaning. Austin is a city in the state of Texas. Opposite meaning, Austin is not a city in the state of Texas. And its truth value also changes. Okay? There's also another way to represent the not in front of here. And a little squiggly line. That means not P. P is just P. Statement P. Okay? find that it is very convenient at times when the state logic statements get rather complicated just to simply say statement P, statement Q. You don't have to read the sentence. You don't have to get into the complication of the sentence. You can just say P is either true or false. So that's one of the reasons we represent statements in logic by letters. All right? Some other vocabulary. The vocabulary in logic is extremely important. Why? You don't know the vocabulary, you don't know how to speak the language, you don't know how to speak the language, you don't know how to have a logical conversation with somebody. Why do you want to have a logical conversation? Well, let's think about the people who have logical conversations. Let's think about the movie A Few Good Men. Don't know if you've seen it or not. You've got two JAG lawyers who are just taking this colonel to town over something that happened under his command and trying to prove that something they, he's not supposed to say, and they can't ask him, is true. What do they do? They tangle him up in a logic web, tie a big bow around it, and let him hang himself in the logic until he does, has to say what's going on. Lawyers use logic? Yes. Investigators use logic? Yes. Not just criminal investigators, civil investigators, court investigators, doctors, medical people who are looking for reasons for something happen, people in the Center for Disease Control who are looking for how did this disease spread, how did it come in, they're looking for logic, okay? They're going to use logic in order to determine what happened. True or false statements. Is it true? Is it not true? We can also combine statements and create compound statements. Now, this is beginning to sound a little bit like an English class. Why? Because you can have compound statements in language. Any language you speak, you can have compound statements simply by using certain words. Compound statement is two are more statements joined by the words. I'm putting these in quotes and or. Compound statement would be two statements joined by the word and or or. So let's make one. Let's say that we have a statement P. Austin is a city in Texas. Okay? Say, let's say we have another statement, Q, Austin, whoops, Austin, not Austis, is the capital of, spell that right, yep, of T. 
Texas. Now, what's the truth value of this statement? It's true. What's the truth value of this statement? It is also true. So what would a compound statement look like? A compound statement would simply say, Austin is a city in Texas. And is its capital. Okay? The word and. Okay? Makes it. Uh, I sort of abbreviated here. Austin is a city in, in Texas, and Austin is the capital of Texas. That would be a compound statement using the word and. Okay? All right, another definition having to do with compound statements. <clears throat> we said we had two words we could use to make compound statements. We can use the word and, and we can also use the word or. Well, each one of those have their own special definition. Compound statements. Conjunction is a compound statement using what? What do you think? Conjunction. Conjunction, junction, you remember that one? Using and. Okay? Alright, we have another term for the one using OR. It's called a disjunction. Compound statement. Using OR. Okay? Now, there's also some symbols that we use for each one of these. And, whenever we use the term and, for instance, we had the, the symbol, we had P, statement P, and, statement Q. We could also have down here, we could also have statement P or statement Q. There's another way to represent this with symbols. P and Q. Or down here for the OR, we could put P or Q. Okay? Symbolic language. Alright? So already we've learned several vocabulary words. A statement. Logic statement is a sentence that is true or false, but not both. It's not an opinion. Truth value. That's the truth or falsity of a statement. A negation. A negation causes a statement to have the opposite meaning and for its truth value to be opposite. So if a statement was true, it's now false. A statement was false, it's now true. Easiest way to do a negation, put a not in it. An N-O-T. Compound statement, two or more statements joined with the words and or or. A disjunction or conjunction. Conjunction is a compound statement using the word and. And a disjunction is a compound statement using the word or. We also have symbols. Statements are represented by letters starting with the letter P. We can have a negation. We can say P, not P. And not P can also be represented like that. All right, these two would be the same thing. They mean the same thing, P and Q, or this one. And these two mean the same thing, P or Q, and this means that. Okay? So we have symbols, we have definitions. The next thing we're going to do, the next video we have, the next lecture, 
is we're going to look at how we can organize these statements and their truth values to determine the truth of a set of statements or the falsity of a set of statements. You'd think it's pretty simple if something is either true or false. It's real easy. But what happens when you begin to combine two and three and four and five situations in order to determine the truth of that entire situation? That becomes a little complicated. And so that would be the next thing we do. But all of it's based upon these definitions of logic and logic statements.